How's it going boys and girls? My name is Michael SK and welcome back to Steins Gate. I don't really remember what happened in the last episode. I think Okabe finally spoke to Kyudisu, uh, went back in time, spoke to her again so they have more time. And I don't really know what the plan is. I think they were talking about the issue with cause and effect. And then Suzuha started running away when we saw her, which is something different than what has usually happened every time we were around this point in time. So, I guess we're chasing after her. Suzuha is already out of sight, but when she left, she was headed for Chuodori. I wonder if her phone's on. Maybe I should just try calling her. Come to think of it, this reminds me of something. On the day she failed to meet her father, she disappeared without a word. Just an email saying bye. I searched the town, but I couldn't find her, so I sent a email that changed the past in order to make her stay. I'm pretty sure I lost her near the station back then. What happened on that timeline? Where did Suzuha go after failing to find her father? I search up and down Chuodori, but find no trace of Suzuha or her bike. I have to be careful, there could already be rounders here in Akiba. I comb the area around the station's main exit. But there's no sign of her anywhere. I lost sight of her before, so I thought she might be close by. Maybe I should corner her on my next time leap, press her for answers before she can escape. I'd better get back to the lab. I start walking away from the station, but just then... The people around me gasp and point. Everyone's looking up at the sky. No, not the sky. The satellite embedded in the roof of Radikan. Why now? It's been there for two weeks. It's practically a landmark now. But everyone looks like they're seeing it for the first time. So I turn and look up too. <gasps> the lights on the satellite are blinking. Is someone inside? Who? Oh, man, this is the satellite has remained silent through all of my previous time leaps. What has changed? Obviously, the fact that Suzuha overheard my conversation with Kyudisu. Previously, I lost sight of her at the station. In other words, right next to Radikan. Suzuha must be up there. Everyone's staring at the satellite. This is my chance to sneak in without being noticed. The shutters are half open, just as they were when I confronted Moika. I summon my courage and crawl through the crack. When I get inside, the first thing I see is Suzuha's bike lying on the floor. What is she trying to do? What is that satellite? How is it related to John Titer? Is it even a satellite? Nobody knows for sure. I checked online. No satellites fell out of orbit that day. When they do, whether by accident or design, they usually burn up in the atmosphere. It's impossible for one to land in such a perfect condition. So what is it then? A jolt suddenly runs through my body. Could it be... A time machine? There's only one way to know for sure. I need to get there before Suzuha does something. The elevator and escalator aren't operating, so I bound up the stairs two at a time. My lungs are- my lungs gasp and my legs burn, but I force my body to carry me to the top. There's the satellite lodged in Radikan's roof. I notice wires holding it in place. The police must have done that so it wouldn't fall. There's a hatch open on the side of the machine. I see someone moving inside. The person freezes when I shout. I run to the satellite. Suzuha turns to me with a sad expression. Behind her I can see the interior of the satellite. It's surprisingly simple without the switches and buttons you'd expect. Instead there's a black box the size of a desktop PC. There are numbers on the screen. 2010-08-13, August 13th, 2010, and below that, 1975, oh wait, 
13. Suzuha reaches out to press a button. Sparks burst from the panel. She jerks back, her fingertips burned. She doesn't reply. I see her shoulders sag. Those sparks had to be from an electrical short. My eyes are burning from the smoke. I swallow hard, then ask the question. With her head hung low, Suzuha nods. Ah. Uh. What a twist! John is a woman! There's still a big crowd outside, so we wait, or so we exit the building on the side facing away from the station. Suzuha has calmed down a bit, so I start pressing her for answers. Suzuha smiles humorously. Hell yeah, it did. It's those exceptions that bother me. ショータイ明かさないままで言おうと思ったんだけどさ。よりによって、マシンが故障してるなんて完全に私の失策だ。だがタイタンのタイムマシンは絞る絵に積まれていたはず。絞る絵車だっけ。それどこからの情報？All well, that definitely is a car. A car that I drive. So it was someone else? It's true that Taitur never posted in 2000, not on the current world line. It doesn't matter. I can worry about that later. I press Suzuha for answers, trapping her between me and the wall so she can't escape. Suzuha suddenly grabs my shoulders. Oh, yeah. Suzuha bites her lip and looks away. Finally, some answers.
マキセクリスにはキリス Why キリス I guess I'll find out if I let Suzuha talk. We should head back to the lab. But first, I offer Suzuha my handkerchief. Lo she looks at me for a second then takes it and ties it around her burn hand. Thank you. Alrighty. Things are definitely getting interesting. If they, already were, if they weren't already er, were, what am I even saying? If things weren't already interesting, they definitely are now. That's what I was trying to say. Sorry. I'm tripping on my tongue and my brain is melting. She should probably see a doctor about her hand, but there's no time for that. Mayuri's death is approaching. I just hope she's not in too much pain. I wrap a towel around her hand to keep people around us from staring. When we get to the lab, Mayuri and Daru are there for some reason. I thought I sent them home. Mayuri gives me a ditzy answer when I ask them. I should have known she wouldn't stay away. Kirisu looks as worried as I am. She leans close and whispers into my ear. Kirisu nods slightly. I glance at Suzuha. She still looks depressed. Suzu-san, Suzuha hangs her head and bites her lip. I know she feels responsible for Mayuri's death. But how is she related? That's what I'm here to find out. <laughs> if Suzuha says so, then I have no objections. But I quietly pull her aside and remind her not to tell them about Mayuri's impending death. Because it's going to happen. Then I quickly explain Suzuha's true identity. That she posted on that channel as John Titer. That the satellite is really a time machine. That she came from the year 2036. <laughs> Hey, that was last year. There's no time to deal with Mayuri's confusion. タイタとして書き込んだ内容がほとんど全て私は2036年の未来から来たその時代はセルンによって支配されたディストピアで争いは完全に消えたけど人々は自由を奪われてるI came from future Come on Is it really that hard to put a the in there? 
ディストピア極端な管理社会全体主義マユリがバナナを食べたいと思っても今日がバナナを食べていい日でなければ食べることは許されないもし食べたら裁判なしで実刑そんな社会ってところそれは困るよマユシーはバナナ大好きなのに Forget about the bananas. あたしはさセルンの支配からの解放のために戦うレジスタンスなのこの時代にタイムトラベルしてきたのはそんな今を君たちからしたら未来になるのか未来を変えるため Change the future She doesn't sound like she's joking. Ja, Oto san was a caster de you know, are they were also that than a cona? Suzuha doesn't answer. Does that mean it was a lie? Sedin was can you can that the can you call what's torch can janai? Atasua Nandamo. ネット上でジョン・タイターにそう訴えてきたオンラインのまさかお前クリゴハンとカメハメハか What? キリシュー turns red and looks away タイターの中の人が名乗り出たんだから私も名乗り出ないとフェアじゃないでしょならば俺もそれに習おう俺は法王院京馬というマナで。Well, I mean, that's not really much of a surprise. それは知ってる。Yeah. <laughs> See? あ、ハモったー !Suzuha frowns. She must not like having anything in common with Kyusu. She clears her throat and continues. セルンは2036年でも研究機関だよ。世界を支配してるのはセルンのバックにいる300人委員会ってやつら。300人委員会実在したのか That name was in CERN's top secret documents. セルンがタイムマシーン開発に成功したことで彼らは時間っていう四つ目の次元に干渉できる唯一の存在になったその結果たった二年で世界の秩序はすべて塗り替えられたってわけ Just two years But that's only an objective time I bet CERN's time travelers spent many decades leaping back and forth across history building the foundation of CERN's rule そんでもってマキセクリス。スズハグレーズエキュリス。2036年において、君はタイムマシンの母として数計されている。数計日本語でオッケー。数計。あがめ、うやまわれているってこと。She keeps using unusual vocabulary. Or maybe that's normal vocabulary in 2036. Basically, she's worshipped like a god. それが私の聞かされたマキセクリスっていう人間よ。Is that why she treats k u r i s u like an enemy? ならば俺がタイムマシンの父だな。岡部倫太郎はテロリスト扱いされてる。結構有名。ああ、パーフェクト。Seriously? I'm a terrorist in the future? 私がセルンでタイムマシン開発に携わるっていうこと信じられない
セルンは人体実験までしてるのよ科学者の風上にも置けないそんな連中のところになんて行くつもりはないでも未来ではそうなってた未来の私は何て言ってた会ったことは一度もないよそれに2036年にはもうし亡くなってたし Wait, what? 今さらっとすごいこと言われた。Yeah, what fantastic information? 私って50歳まで生きられないってこと私の時代では極端に長生きの人と不審な亡くなり方をする若い人の2種類がいた。セルンに逆らうような言動をする人はどんどん消されていった。Suzuha looks into Kirisu's eyes. For once, she's not glaring at Kirisu. Why would she have been worshipped and respected like she was if that was the case then? Kirisu's mother is in America. It's not terribly difficult to imagine Sern kidnapping her while Kirisu is away. After all, I watched Moika kill Mayuri in cold blood. Lavenda. Nani sore? Sern no yohei butai. To you to koroka. Suzuha nods. Me mokjo wa Sern to a dokritu shita. 技術調査班って位置づけだけどさ実態は汚れ役もこなす何でもや According to Moika, they have two chief duties First, to acquire IBM 5100s the only computers that can access CERN's secret database Second, to find promising scientists in the field of time travel and force them to cooperate with CERN or eliminate them if they will not やっぱりこの時代にもすでに存在してるんだね私はずっとラウンダーの連中と戦ってたんだ汚れ役ってことはままさか誘拐とか暗殺とかも Pretty much Suzuha looks to me with a question in her eyes I shake my head 私の時代ではそういうこともしてた今はまだそこまでしてないんじゃないかなダルー is visibly relieved ねえアマネさんあなたさっきジョン・タイターとして語ったことはほぼすべて事実だって言ったよねそうだよということはあなたは世界の構造について把握してるっていうことエベレットホイーラーモデルいわゆる多世界解釈で説明できるってあなたは書いていたはずあれはフェイク情報セルンに目をつけられないためのカムフラージュ本当の中に嘘を一つ混ぜると途端に全体が嘘くさく見えるんだじゃあ把握はしてないのねしてるよ2036年ではさ世界の構造は解明されてるんだ多世界解釈じゃなかった What is it then? 本当に詳しく教えてアトラクタフィールドそう岡部倫太郎にはメールで直接教えたよねそれどんな解釈なの世界は世界線とアトラクタフィールドでできてる。シズハ walks over to Mayuri's sewing table and picks up a ball of red yarn. She holds one end of the yarn and drops the ball to the floor, then holds about a meter of yarn in front of her face. 世界の構造はより糸みたいなものなの
いくつもの可能性世界線が重ね合わせの状態になってて<咳>常に無限個に枝分かれしてってるわけ全体を見ると一本に見えるけどミクロなレベルだとより細い糸が絡み合うように世界を構成してるそして最終的にはそれらの細い糸は一つに収束する経過は違うけど結果は同じになるそれって決定論じゃないの近いかもねでももうちょっとアバウト多世界解釈とコペンハーゲン解釈のいいとこ取りって感じ分岐はするが結末は同じということは世界は結局一つなのかそういうことでその収束範囲内にある世界線の束がアトラクタフィールドアトラクタフィールドもたくさんあるこのヨリートはアトラクタフィールドアルファ範囲内にあるのはアルファ世界線シズハーデンカツミーターリンクスブルー、ヨーロー、アンワイトヤーン青がアトラクタフィールドベータで黄色がガンマで白がデルタとしてそれぞれベータ世界線やガンマ世界線やデルタ世界線を範囲内にたくさん内包してるそれこそ何億っていう数をね She twists the different colored strings together, then stretches them out as one fat multicolored string. アトラクタフィールドもこんな風にいくつも重ね合わせ状態になってるそれぞれのアトラクタフィールドごとでは起きる事象も収束する結果も違う干渉性は喪失してるわけそれぞれが独立を保ってる元をたどれば一つだしアトラクタフィールドもさらにマクロな視点で見れば収束するけどそのスパンは何百年っていうレベルなんだより大きな分岐と見ればいいかなあ、uh, あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、エロゲに例えたらどういうこと教えてエロい人 What the fuck? エロい人なんていないいやエロゲに例えるのは間違っていないヒロイン個別ルートがアトラクターフィールドでその中に出てくる細かい選択肢がそれぞれの世界線だしかし最後には必ずトゥルールートに入ってグランドエンディングを迎える共通ルートが長いか短いかそれが問題だちなみに僕だったらせっかくだから妹キャラのアトラクタフィールドを選ぶぜあは勝手にしろダメだこいつら早く何とかしないとえっと私にはそのエロゲってのがよくわかんないんだけど真剣に受け取らなくていいわよ Let me get this straight. The reason I can't save Mayuri is that her death is the event upon which the attractor field converges. But that means. That means the world really is killing Mayuri. But that means the world really is killing Mayuri. But that means the world really is killing Mayuri. But that means the world really is killing Mayuri. But that means the world really is killing Mayuri. That's right. That's why Mayuri dies no matter how many times I leap. 今私たちがいるアトラクタフィールドアルファの範囲外に出るの範囲外つまりアトラクタフィールドベータにあるベータ世界線に飛び移るってこと干渉できないんじゃアトラクタフィールド同士が完全に分岐しちゃったらねでもまさに分岐しようとしている瞬間なら分岐する瞬間それが今だっていうことダイバージェンスが大きく変わる分岐点は
2010年にあるって私は教わった2000年や1991年並みのものすごい大分岐が起きてアトラクタフィールドレベルで枝分かれするってえっとなんで2000年と1991年なのどっちも世界規模の大きな事件があったじゃん事件1991年はソ連崩壊だなだが2000年は2001年なら同時多発テロがあったか2000年は2000年問題の年だよ The year 2000 problem Y2K? はああれって騒がれた割には結局大した問題は起きなかったぞそれは今私たちがいるこのアルファ世界線が2000年問題が起きなかった可能性世界だから Wait, so something actually did happen on some world lines? So in other words, there are worlds where it did occur? そして2010年今年って何か大きな事件起きたかな今年最大の事件は Suzuha looks towards the development room. 人類史上初のタイムマシン開発成功以外に何があるってのあそっかそうだよねすごいもう一つ疑問が。キリシュウ keeps plowing ahead. I guess that what makes, that's what makes her a scientist. カサネアワセジョータニアルセカイセンテパラレルワールドってわけじゃないんでしょチガウヨアクマデカノセセカイセンガドジニソンザイシテイルダケソダトシテセカイセンカンノカンソクワトウヤルノカミノステンデモモタナキャ無理なんじゃない普通ならねでもシズハ looks at me don't tell me リーディングしたいなかそういうネーミングなの岡部凛太郎には世界線を越えて観測ができるっていう特殊な力があるそうよね somehow yes oh. それが鍵になる君の特殊な力が世界をセルンの支配っていう呪縛から解き放つ鍵今の君は神に匹敵する存在なんだよ俺の力がアトラクタフィールドアルファの範囲外ベータ世界線へ到達すれば収束する結果も変わる I feel a shiver of excitement. 助けられるのか I can save my Yuri? Suzuha nods firmly. Then I must do it. I have no choice. Just wait. Kirisu, however, is not so enthusiastic. Is that really true? Is that the possibility of Amane's thoughts? What? 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 What lovely questions. However, we are out of time. I'm so sorry. Sort of. But yeah, this is where we're going to end it. I just do not have the time today to continue on with our lovely journey of questions. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of Steins Gate, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy.